Hello, it's Rob uh, from Fountain Pen Journey. Um, today I'm going to talk about something a little bit different. It's not about pens, it's not about ink, and it's not about paper either. It's about the environment. As it's a current hot topic, plastic in the environment, it's turned into quite a big thing. And my own personal view is that one of the worst things that ever happened to planet Earth is a species called Homo sapiens. And we, unfortunately, uh, have got a lot of responsibility for not only wrecking the environment, but we're also responsible for um, making sure that it's safe for not only us and future generations, but also for wildlife, flora, all the other things that live on this planet. And plastic is turning into a bit of a problem. Microplastics are degrading and getting into absolutely everything. So it's getting into the food chain. It's not only affecting wildlife, but it's also affecting us. So to stand by and just let this happen just seems like a really, really bad thing. So what I would say is, whatever you can do to reduce your plastic waste, especially, uh, or even usage, better still, is always going to be a good thing. Uh, things may already be too late, but hopefully not. So I'm not going to be doom and gloom about all of this, but I am going to talk about one thing because this is Fountain Pen Journey, and that is to look at how you use pens, specifically disposable pens. Um, 1.6 billion disposable plastic pens are thrown away in America every year. That is a huge amount of plastic. They go straight to landfill, or worst of all, it doesn't even end up in landfill, it may end up in the environment, thrown away into the streets, ends up in water courses, ultimately ends up in the sea, ends up being recycled, not through the usual conventional means of recycling, but recycled through life gets into us, gets into fish, gets into all the marine life, it's a bad, bad thing. So anything that you can do to reduce your plastic waste or usage is going to be beneficial to us, the environment and future generations. We've only got one planet, so let's take care of it. Now, why am I talking about this on the Fountain Pen channel? Well, the simple reason is that disposable plastic fountain pens, let me just get all my bits and pieces. I've got a few things to show you. Lots of things here which are all relevant to this discussion. Plastic disposable pens. Most people use ballpoints. Um, if you're going to use a ballpoint pen with a refill, chances are that also contains a lot of metal and plastic, it's not refillable, so you throw that away. So even if you've got one pen, a very nice Parker pen for example, yeah, you're still producing plenty of waste. Um, so it's just as, it's not as bad, but it's almost as bad as these little babies here. Plastic pens, ballpoint pen, Throw it, use it, throw it away. Worst of all, you don't use all of the ink in it. You might use it until somebody, yourself, <laughs> maybe, choose the pen. You think, oh, it's a bit manky, or you just dispose of it because you think, oh, I'll get a new pen, pick up another pen, whiz it in the bin. These things. All plastic, disposable pens. And you can buy, this is a gel pen from the... UK supermarket, Tesco. Pack of these, really inexpensive. Costs about £1 for 10. And there's a lot of plastic in this. There's a little bit of metal as well, but you know, mainly plastic. And I bet this isn't recycled. This is just thrown straight into the bin. So, why am I talking about this on Fountain Pen Channel? Well, it's quite simple. This is a Jin Hao. It's a Chinese manufacturer, Jin Hao X450 fountain pen. It's an all metal pen, there is some plastic, but it's reusable. There is nothing to throw away. 
uncap it. You've got a fountain pen. Okay, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, yeah, I like using ballpoints. Yeah, cheap disposable ballpoint. I like it. It works for me. Works first time every time. Don't have to think about it. Just use it. These require a little bit more use. Perhaps even a different writing style. But it's a single... It's not a single-use pen. It's a multi-use pen. You unscrew the barrel. And in here... These pens, very cheap, you can buy them on eBay, from China, including shipping, for a couple of pounds, for a couple of dollars, including shipping, and they come with this thing inserted, which just pushes in. And this thing is called a standard international cartridge converter, and it usually fits a whole range of pens. Some pens, if you look at other fountain pen manufacturers, such as Lamy or Pilot, may have proprietary a not standard international cartridge converters which fit into their pens so you may if you go down that route and you buy one of their pens you may have to purchase a cartridge converter to use with those pens but it's very similar the principles the same what this does it's got a little twisty you, this is a typical example a little twisty knob at the top and you turn it and up and down inside the cartridge converter there is a plunger which draws ink up into this clear reservoir which holds the ink. So the way you use this, make sure it's pushed into the section of the pen, that's the bit that you hold, this is the section, there's the nib, the feed is the black plastic bit on the back, you don't need to know about the parts of the fountain pen. I've done a video on this channel earlier this year which if you need to know any more about what the parts of a fountain pen are, what they do, what they're called and how to use it. Find that video, have a look at it if you're interested. Um, barrel screws on there, you've got a pen. It writes. These nibs are available in a range of sizes to suit different writing styles. You can get left-handed nibs if you're a left-handed writer or you can adjust your writing style so bear that one in mind this is a, um, a medium nib you can get them in everything from extra fine which leaves a really really fine line on the page on the paper all the way up through extra fine fine medium broad double broad and italic stub which is really thick I mean the, there's a range of nibs so you can have whatever thickness you like with these pens. And the way that you use them, if you don't want to search through my uploaded videos on my channel, is you get a pot of ink, such as this, pot of ink, unscrew the cap, insert the nib, the whole, whole bit here, I'll get rid of the cap for now, Insert the whole thing into the pot of ink so that the whole nib and feed, that's the bit at the back, the plastic black bit, usually black at the back of the pen, is inserted below the level of the ink. And just wind the piston down. So you insert, imagine this is on this uh, ink bottle's uncapped, you insert the pen and you turn the knob and it draws ink up into this chamber. You can just leave it like that, give the nib a bit of a wipe, a bit of a tissue and screw the barrel on, you're good to write. No waste, none whatsoever. All you're doing is buying one pen, one bottle of ink and that's it. There is no waste depends, sort of. We'll talk about that in a minute. Inks are available from all sorts of retailers, online, in shops, and you can get a huge range of ink colours. So you're not limited to, for example, disposable pens. This is a blue one, this is a black one. You can get green, you can get red. If you go to a station is you might find other colours but generally you know 
blue and black. This is called all smoke, this ink. This is a rich dark orange, orangey brown. So orange brown. You can get all sorts of blue inks, all sorts of black inks. No inks, in general no inks are identical. Um, you can get all sorts of different colours, different reds, different greens, teals, purples, yellows, ambers, oranges, every single colour you could possibly imagine writing with, somebody produces an ink in that type of colour. So, is there any waste with a fountain pen? Well, unfortunately, yes. If you don't have a ink converter, this, this is yet another standard international ink cartridge converter, this is a sliding one, so this has got a little button at the top of the thing here which you push up and down to draw ink up and down into the chamber. There is also a little glass bead in there that agitates and can help break up the surface tension of the ink in there so it writes smoothly, doesn't run dry at any point, things like that. Quite an important feature. So if you don't have one of these and you have a fountain pen, you're going to be using these babies. Cartridges. Ink cartridges. A lot of the main manufacturers produce pens which take proprietary cartridges. So if you haven't got a standard international pen that perhaps it's a Lamy or a, um, a Pilot pen, I'm just using those manufacturers of fountain pens as examples, you're going to go down the route of buying cartridges. Now these ink cartridges only fit their pens. If you buy standard international ink cartridges, yes they will fit a much wider range of pens, but you're still buying plastic. If you use a fountain pen you'll probably find, certainly if you've got a broad nib or a medium nib, it uses much more ink than one of these, so you may be not used to the fact that fountain pens need refilling more regularly than you would do perhaps expect one of these disposable pens to last. That's not a big deal, it's no big deal, it's easy, it's simple. Okay, there's a little bit of work, a little bit of faffing involved, but at the end of the day, you're saving the planet. These things are simple. When it's empty, you write with it, use up the ink, empty, pull it out, pop another one into your pen. But you're throwing away all that plastic, so you're not gaining anything by using ink cartridges. So I would really advise, if you're going to use a fountain pen, don't bother with ink cartridges. Get yourself a converter, be it a proprietary one. If you're buying from one of the online pen stores, if it's a Lamy, uh, like a Lamy Safari. Entry level pen, very, very popular, very cheap, costs about £20, something like that. Um, £5 will buy you a Lamy uh, ink converter similar to this, different different sort of shape, uh, but it will work in that pen. So you're adding an extra five pounds to be able to use bottled ink. Now, bottles. This is a diamine ink, autumn oak. Um, this is, oh, what volume is in this? This is made in the UK, 30 millilitres in there. It's an ink sample bottle, effectively. Um, they sell these mainly so that you can try out different colours. Because, I mean, to be honest, this, this ink might not to be to your personal taste, so you might think, well, I'm not going to spend five pounds or more on a bottle of ink, I'll, I'll spend three pounds or more, something like that, on a smaller bottle of ink to test out whether I like it. The bottle, in this case, is plastic. Caps plastic. Now, fortunately, I mean, if, if you want, you could reuse these, you can reuse them as ink sample bottles, you can put other things in them, reuse it, so you're not throwing it away, but thankfully you can also recycle this, this type of plastic quite widely. So local authority recycling schemes, give it a rinse, throw it in there, at least this gets recycled, it's not going into the environment, it's not going into landfill, so you're reducing your plastic that way. A couple of other 
ink examples here. This is, this is how you get ink packaged in a cardboard box. This is Waterman um, from France, Waterman Ink. Uh, they do make fountain pens. This is Tender Purple. It's a nice purple ink. Not very deep purple, not very saturated. And it comes in a bottle like this. Glass bottle. Lovely, lovely glass bottle. These are very well designed bottles. You can insert your pen into it. It's got a nice wide aperture at the neck of the bottle, so you can insert your pen easily. When the ink starts getting a bit low and you can't quite get the bottom of the, um, you can't get the ink level where you need it to be, it's got facets on the bottle, so you can tilt it. Suddenly it gives you a lot more opportunity to get the pen right down in there to fill it. It's a very well designed glass bottle, which of course is recyclable. Of course the other thing is you have to consider is anything environmental. It's the three R's. Reduce, so eliminate the use of plastics if possible. Reduce, so, you know. Uh, reuse, so reuse your plastic. If you can reuse your plastic bottle or your glass bottle for something, then do so. Glass bottles, ink bottles tend to be quite nicely designed. They're almost on a par with some perfume bottles. Uh, a lot of design process goes into the overall look and um, aesthetics of these things. So it's not just always about the functionality. Some are more functional than others. But you can reuse these for all sorts of things. They're only small bottles. I mean, this is a 50ml bottle, so it's, it's not going to hold loads of stuff. But you can reuse it for other things. Um, the other thing to remember is when this is empty, if you rinse it out, yes, you can recycle it in glass recycling bins. Easy enough. So this is, once again, going into uh, recycling. Um, the other thing that you can also do, and this is something that not many people really tend to think about, is getting rid of this for free. You can give it away. If you've got a pen club or people who might want small glass bottles for whatever reason, they'd really like some of these bottles. They're quite attractive. Um, you can even sell them for quite a low price on eBay. People do like having ink bottles. They might collect them, they might reuse them for other things, they might reuse them for ink. So, you know, there is a market. It's not something that you should just throw away in the bin. If you can't recycle it, reuse it is the obvious thing. And there is a market out there for empty ink bottles, especially if it's something really nice. Um, I mean, that 30ml bottle of Diamine Autumn Oak, plastic, this is one of their larger bottles, so this is um, something if you, if you happen to like that particular ink, you can get it in the larger size bottle. And these come in glass bottles. So we've got a nice deep red one here, um, reddish purple. And as you can see, it's a glass bottle. It's got nice design to the whole thing. It's a lovely, lovely bottle. So it's well worth keeping. Reuse it, sell it even, whatever you do. You know, don't throw it in the bin. So thank you for watching this video. And I hope that this does make you really think about your use of these disposable plastic pens. Um, it's going to be a hard sell to get every office in the country, wherever you are, because office supplies, these things are cheap. I can't imagine any office that I've worked in saying, yes, we'll, we'll buy you a fountain pen, we'll buy you whatever colour of bottled ink you like, it's not going to happen. Hopefully it would, but you know we don't live in that type of society, unfortunately, in the Western world. Um, it would be nice to see, because that would significantly reduce the amount of these things that get thrown away. Um, it would be really, really encouraging to see that. But thank you for watching this video. And if, to be honest, I convert one or more people to using fountain pens to eliminate the use and wastage of these plastic disposable pens, then this video is well worthwhile. 
If you are interested in fountain pens, I do upload quite a few videos. I'm fairly new to the whole YouTube thing and I've only been collecting fountain pens and using them uh, since about August 2017. So this is why this is my fountain pen journey. It is a journey. I started off with these cheap Jinhao Chinese fountain pens. Like writing with them, like using them at work. I like the range of colours of inks which are available. You're not stuck with just blue. You can choose whatever type of blue you want. You can have pale blue, dark blue, you know, a whole range of shades. You can get inks with shimmering, glitter, shading, sheening. I mean, inks out of a fountain pen are not the same as a ballpoint. They do add a lot of character to, to your writing. They are a stylish writing instrument and they don't cost a fortune. So these things can really, really look good. Two pounds from eBay from China, including a standard international cartridge converter. You're good to go. Five pounds for a bottle of ink. You know, you're on your own journey. So please do consider getting rid of your usage of these plastic disposable pens. If you are using an ink cartridge, you know, you can refill these, but generally, you know, they're a faff that's even harder, you know. If you're going to go down the fountain pen route, get yourself one with a standard international cartridge converter or a proprietary cartridge converter and use that. Reduce your plastic waste this way. So thank you for watching and I hope this video was useful.